Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I was actually just about to do, to record another video, but then I realized that there has just been an acronym drop, which I didn't really expect. Um, but knowing how much you guys like me doing these drop videos, I decided to do that one first because well, it's now. So I guess that's what we're doing today. But first I would like to make a shout out to a few people who thanked me Rex who was very generous in giving me a thanks for my Sakai video thank you so much Rex and Julien Moreau was also very nice to thank me for the acronym J28 video appreciate it so much you guys if you don't know what this is there is a thanks button here on YouTube now by which you can financially thank me for the videos I make and it super supports this channel so um, if you do like what I'm doing feel free to use this thanks button and of course likes and subscribes are still also very much appreciated I have a subscribe button right here in the corner of the video so you, you can subscribe anytime you like while watching this video it's amazing okay so drop it is Friday the 27th of January 2000 23. For those who celebrated the Lunar New Year, Gongsi Fa Chai, I actually very recently discovered that I'm also part Chinese, so I guess I can add that to my gene pool. Anyway, we're talking about clothes here. The two pieces that dropped tonight are the J86 GTB and the J29 WS. Anyway, let's look at the J86 GTB. So GTB is a new fabric the first time that we saw this fabric was when the p38 gtb dropped that was in spring summer 22 also a piece that sold out instantly so gtb has an outer layer of nylon which is i think waterproof i don't know for sure i it doesn't say here but i remember somebody saying that but maybe that's not true so i don't know for sure uh that is interwoven with a anti-static yarn which i really like because i am actually a very static person at some point i when i started out wearing all these technical fabrics i i discovered i was getting way too static because i was using a lot of nylon polyester and wool and the combination of those three things is just i'm like fucking electro like shocking my my girlfriend all the time so at some point i had to bring cotton back into my layers because i if i for instance wear a merino t-shirt as a base layer and over that an alpha direct sweater then i get static as fuck but I, if i have a cotton base layer and over that an alpha direct sweater then i'm okay and if i use like a merino base layer then i need to wear a cotton hoodie over that anyway this has anti-static yarn in it so that does sound kind of nice so nylon outer with anti-static yarn in it and then on the inside there is a backer which is made of cotton and polyester which they say is super nice to the skin so that's so it's like a three layer web but it's not a laminate so i don't exactly know what that means somehow it's not bonded together like a laminate so i guess that means it cannot delaminate which will make a lot of people happy because that's like the number one fear of acronym or Gore-Tex wearers, the delamination, the delamination of Gore-Tex and uh, WB400. Synthesizing approaches from different eras and cultures, J86 reconstructs an American workwear staple with pattern making techniques originally conceived of sword fighting in medieval Europe. All right, <laughs> what? The jacket features bilateral detached entry side pockets, tension zip eye chest pockets, pleated forearm pockets, and vertical interior pockets, a cool max lined collar. All right, that's nice. I don't think I've seen cool max on acronym stuff before. Maybe there has been, but I haven't seen it. I remember seeing cool max in what? I've seen it on another brand before, but I don't remember which it was. Anyway, cool max is a moisture wicking polyester. Anyway, it seems like it's some kind of dry fit kind of fabric. And the name suggests that it keeps you cool by wicking. So, so that is in the collar, which 
suggests that it keeps your neck cool. The Coolmax line collar provides an all-season comfort and moisture control. Archetype-specific details and trims, post buttons, adjustable waistband, etc. Paired with acronym-specific fit and fitments complete this fully articulated garment. Don't know what fitments are, but available for the first time in a consumer-grade product. This composite nylon is one of the all-time best light shell fabrics we have ever employed. Light shell does suggest that it is not waterproof. Yeah, it's not. It says light shell water resistant, so it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. Similar in characteristics to the three-layer WWB fabric. Don't know what that means. Its sandwich construction has another function entirely, namely uniting the contrasting functions of exterior resilience and interior comfort. The result is clothing that is unrivaled in both next to skin compatibility and environment facing resistance. If price is no object, then it is currently the best all season, all condition fabric money can buy. I do remember the Peep 38 GTB being really expensive, I think like 16 or 1700. So I guess this one was also pretty pricey. I don't know what the price was because I missed it. Okay, so it's a work jacket, very cropped and boxy as you can see. This is the picture with the P38 GTB in which it was teased a long time ago. Okay, so I guess this jacket was already supposed to be released in the SS22 together with these pants, but it didn't release back then because there were some production or shipping issues. Anyway, people have been waiting for it for a long time and talking about it and of course it sold out immediately i know for a fact that my mate nathan was very much looking for it so i, I do hope he got one so there's a tension zip here you can see these zips coming back to the zips on the front of the b38s quite extreme these silver zips on the front like that now, it's probably not a gravity pocket because then you would have to have it on top that would be weird. so i guess just pockets to Put stuff in it doesn't look super comfy to have stuff on the top of your underarm it looks very it looks very fitted so i guess not really a jacket for some bigger folks very profile fit as i can see now i see some holes here on the back that you can even cinch it more in the waist if you want to so there's these pockets on the side for the hands you can close the collar like that Okay, so here we can see how the tension zip on the front work. To be honest, this looks a little bit funny, like two weird boobies. But maybe I'm just childish. Up close, I do like how the GTP looks. It has like a small, almost honeycomb looking pattern in it. That looks quite futuristic, I like that. The cool max fabric on the inside of the collar looks very soft and comfortable. Okay, so I guess the chest pocket only is like this triangle shape if you open it, which is a little bit weird, I think. So I don't know if there is, so if you unzip this, you only have this space in this triangle, I guess, to put stuff in. I think if you put something in there, it will kind of show through the jacket. Ah, okay, yeah, now I understand. So the interior, there's an interior pocket, so I guess you can put something in the interior pocket and that ends up being in this in this space right so so this space is for the interior pocket and so then the outer pocket is on top of that so that works i think that's uh, that looks nice and then this space is for the outer pocket it's a uh, side pocket I mean. always showing the koyover shirt which i have now and i wear quite a lot it's, it's i mean it's just you know it's a cotton t-shirt, but as I said before, I've adopted more cotton into my layering, so I actually wear this shirt really often. So there's a zipper on the back side of the cuff, which is really nice, I think, for a summer jacket, just like I have on the J28 WS. I, I use that a lot. I actually used that today when I was mountain biking, uh, and at some point I got really hot, and then I opened up the sleeve to roll them up which was very very cooling uh, so yeah that's that's great okay so it doesn't really show how this button works exactly or how this looks that's too bad but there's obviously a way to adjust this to make it tighter of course it has a jacket sling like any acronym jacket all right okay so yeah 
Um, what can I say about it? I mean, I think it's a cool jacket. Um, but also, I don't think it's that special. I mean, it's a worker jacket. It's a very specific style. It's not necessarily my style. I was not waiting for the jacket. And I am not bummed at all that I missed out on it, so it's okay. I think J68 WS is much nicer than this jacket as a summer jacket. I mean, of course, it's a new fabric, so I guess that's exciting in a way. But the way this jacket scrunches up in all these regions is not necessarily something that I like very much. If you look at it like this, I think it's a cool new design, but aesthetically not necessarily appealing to me. The way that these chest pockets go, and then when you open it up, you get these like Madonna-esque boobies. No, it's not my thing. And I also think, and I also think that the middle zippers on the front of the sleeves are a bit too much. I mean, again, in combination with these pants, is great, but I also don't like it on these pants, so. Or don't really like these pants at all, so. Yeah, that's that. Let me know what you think. Did, did you get one? Let me know. I'm very curious. Then the second piece is the J29 WS. So this is not a new jacket. This jacket has been released before. So this is the one that I released last year together with the P38E. It is a windstopper jacket. It's a blazer. This is how it works. It can be zipped up. It has a hood that is removable as demonstrated here by he himself. There we go. Boom. It's a blazer. Goodbye. Okay. So that's how that one looked. If we are looking at this one now, let's see if it says something different. Sartorial Futurism. A sleek new iteration of the J29 Blazer featuring a two-layer Gore-Tex Infinium windstopper face fabric and a substantially updated pocket layout. All right, okay, so it is different. It has different, it has different pockets. We go back to the video. Yeah, it definitely has different pockets. If you can see, like you can see here, the other one didn't have any, this one doesn't have pockets. You can like really see from the outside, so. And these seem kind of detached. So a substantially updated pocket layout built to work standalone or as a modular liner. DFMA shoulder for drop bars. I don't really know what that means. Tension zip cargo pockets for low observable storage. Mezzanine pockets for idle hands. The J29 convertible reveres shield up or suits down. More stylish than anything, this technical has a right to be and vice versa. Okay, so still two layer Gore-Tex Infinium Windstopper and a lining fabric. So I guess that's probably the same as the J68 Windstopper I was just talking about that I have, which is really nice. The lining is really nice. Definitely beats having just a Windstopper uh, layer on next skin because that's really not that comfortable. It gets kind of sticky at some point. Okay, I do have to say I kind of like the fit of this J29 because I actually didn't really like the previous one. This one looks a lot more, I guess, slick. I think the previous J29 looked a bit frumpy. Okay, I can't find the other one and it takes too long to look for it. Let's just look at this one. So I kind of like how this looks. It looks a bit more substantial because I think the other one might not have had the liner. This hood looks bigger. I mean, it could also be that it's just because Lenny is slimmer than Erlson that the fit is different, but anyway, it looks great on Lenny, uh, to be honest. I like how it's asymmetrical that there is a pocket here and that the zipper is not in the middle. It's a really nice look. I think this hood looks really great. It's very big. It gives the jacket a very different look here. Wow, this shirt. This shirt's kind of cool. Fuck. So I guess this is a tease of this shirt. Are we going to... Does it say anywhere what this shirt is called? Okay, I don't know what this shirt is officially called, but looking at it right now, it does look like a LA 10 PX, I guess. It looks kind of nice. God damn it. I hate that they keep releasing cool stuff. Because I have enough clothes, man. I'm, I'm good. Just don't need more stuff. Anyway, 
I was talking about this jacket. Okay, so we have, this looks really cool, but I think an LA-10 single weld chest pocket. This is really nice, because this is like, like, like a blazer pocket, which I don't believe the other J29 had. So this, this just looks more like an actual blazer. Shit. Kind of like this. God damn it. Pocket array. Even the side pockets are quite cool. I think this actually really... This might be the first J29 that actually looks like a blazer. Because... Because I mean, there have been J29s before, like this J29. So this is the GT J29A. How it looked back then. I do believe that the other J29 also looked like this. So you have the... These pockets are more on the side, and then these pockets like beneath the armpits. Which I guess are kind of convenient pockets, but they just... They're not really pockets that make it look like, look like a blazer. And these pockets are just like the pockets that are on a standard blazer. So this pocket area really gives the jacket much more of a blazer vibe. So I actually really like that. It really sucks very much, man. Fuck. Okay, so there's the... The chest pocket that, as you can see, can be tucked inside also. Ah, oh, okay, so it has like a small flap. That's nice. That's a nice detail. I like that. It can be tucked inside. Then we have the side pockets that are detached, that have a side back entry and a top entry with a tension zip. Amazing. I mean, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to love this jacket already. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ooh, this is nice. Then this is a cuff detail. Ah, uh, because it's, yeah, right. So it's, uh, it's meant as a... So it is meant as a... So it's meant as a liner, so it has, uh, the cuff buttons to either do this, but this is very uncomfortable. Well, maybe with this jacket is better, but, I mean, the J58 also has these cuff buttons, but if you... If I close those, that's really uncomfortable for my wrist, and my wrists are, like, really girly thin, so... And so on top there is, of course, an aux zip and the buttons for the hood. The force lock, of course, which I never use. And the logo tape, which I always have on the logo tape because I like the logo. And of course, the sling. Here you can see the aux zip up close. Ooh, shit, man. I really like this one. It looks really cool. I think this is the first J29. Well, that's not true. I also kind of like the J29PX. This one. Ooh. I want the PX shirt. Fuck, this is a good look. Wait, J103 GTV? Oh, this is a new... Okay, here. Connected to the J103 GTV, which is, I guess, a new coat also. A new long coat, which also will be released. Alright. Cool. A long coat. I'm not really that much into the long coats. Looks great with the balaclava. Damn, this is a look. This is a look, man. And this time, it looks really good with the hood because I don't know why. Maybe because the hood looks bigger. And in earlier versions, I didn't really like the hood on the J29 because, you know, because it's a blazer and then with the hood, it's kind of weird. But this looks damn good. Damn good. I love this jacket very much. It costs 1,700 euros. Fuck. It's in my size. Well, I really hope I'm not gonna get this, um, but it's great. I love it. It's really nice, and it looks really great with this shirt. So, those are the two jackets that were released today. J86 GTB, which, again, I really don't care for, but the J29 WS, which I had expected to be just a re-release, is actually, um, in my opinion, the best J29 that I've seen yet. So that was it again for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you hadn't, or use the thanks button if you want to. I'm gonna try and edit this now as soon as I can, and uh, hopefully I will release this before midnight. Until next time.